Today is uh, Wednesday 27 2016. We treated the terrapins yesterday for the shell rot and also the clean up now. So this is 12, uh, 24 hours later. Today is the day 4. So what I want is to check on the lower part. But now these small ones, there's no problem on the, the lower shell, the plastron, okay? Anyway, okay, so my system will take upside down and let me have a look at the lower part. Any inflammation, any bleeding, okay, hold properly against the, put your hand against this so that there is a focus for me. Okay, so now I'm going to, to, uh, to, to, to focus on it. So there's no bleeding. The shell rot, you can see there's still some shell rot on the lower part of the... Of course, it takes a long time to, to, to heal. The shell rot is here. Put your finger, the shell rod is here, uh, the whole lower part, and some more. Mm, okay, so they apply the neodymium cream the, uh, every three days and keep it dry, dry overnight. Okay, then uh, the front, the top part, the top shell, the carapace, you can to your point to you the shell rod, uh, those are white spots, those are uh, just point to the white spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the front and the top. Yeah. And the other side, the right hand side, so okay, put down already. Now we look at the bigger one. Uh, this bigger one, first of all, you can see the shell rot. This has been happening over over one year, okay. Now we're interested more in the lower shell, uh, which is the plastron. Uh, we turn upside down. Now th there was used to be a lot of bleeding, but now you can see actually there's a shell rot at the at the lower plastron. You can see the pits with. Put your hand on on on, on the on the arch so that I can focus. Huh? Okay, firmly. Okay, let me take a photo first. You can still see a bit of bleeding. The shell rod. Okay, this one has more shell rod than the smaller one. And okay, so now you take it flat. Let me take a photo of the lower shell. Huh? Ready? Your hand. Uh, okay, steady. Huh? steady. Don't move first. Some more bleeding from the cloaca. Kureka is open up, I notice. Huh? Kureka is open up. Point your finger there to Kureka. Uh, and uh, is there any bleeding there? Any, any more blood from there? No. No more. Okay, so I think he can go home today. And uh, the bleeding on the lower lower shell, the, the plastron, is less. But you can see the thinning. The thinning of the shell, that's why the blood comes from the below the keratin. Huh? You can see the pink color, uh, the finger point there. This shows that the keratin is thinning due to shell rot, and then uh, you can see the blood vessels under the the shell. It's called uh, subcutaneous. In the dog, it's called subcutaneous, but in the therapy, it's subkeratin layer, the lower layer. Okay, can put it back. Thanks. So we call the owner to bring it back. Huh? Call the owner to bring it back today. Huh? Just call again. It will. Now we are giving direct sunlight. About uh, half an hour would do. Eh? Direct means uh, no shade, eh? not filtered. Filtered sunlight means away from direct sunlight. So this is not filtered. So one every day, half an hour at least, and then uh, let the let the terrapin eat and drink. But of course they won't eat and drink now because of the sun. But they synthesize calcium plus vitamin D3 with the help of sunlight, direct sunlight and this improve their shell quality then uh, we will give the calcium and vitamin D3 for the owner to feed and uh, you go home day, day 4, top papaya vets shell rot in terrapins causing bleeding in the bigger one under the plastron and uh, this shell rot has been present for over a year Normally due to fungus, bacteria, and we have been cleaning up the shell for the last three days. So they are quite active now. So we should be going home today. Papaya vets, April 27, 2016, Wednesday.